Thanks for being here. It's Thursday, September 18th, 2025. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I appreciate everyone taking the time to subscribe to this uh, channel. I know it takes a second, but I do really appreciate uh, that uh, effort, especially with a busy pattern. It's gonna be a busy end of September into October. We know that, we're already seeing that. This here, kind of an odd tropical storm. Uh, looking at everything from overnight, it's really not even a tropical storm at this point. However, with that said, it's still classified as one. With that said, it is gonna get very close to Bermuda and it could re-intensify. I wanna track that with you. So this is Gabrielle, at at least technically, a strong tropical wave will emerge off the coast of Africa. More activity generally back behind Gabriel that we're going to be watching. And then we swing here. This of more immediate concern back through the British and U.S. Virgin Islands. I've been watching our comments. We have some heavy rain around back through Puerto Rico. Some of this will be anywhere from the uh, DR all the way back through Jamaica, Cayman Islands. Scattered areas of heavier rain. We've been seeing that overnight as well in Belize in this moisture swinging up toward Cuba, the Bahamas. Again, watching the Cayman Islands, uh, South Florida for some very heavy pockets of rain. Again, we don't need a name system to have big issues this time of year. Please, please be careful with some of the flooding and even the mudslide potential, of course, depending on your terrain. Now, here's what's going on. I mentioned this here, and then I want to show you in this video the possibility of some development closer to home, and that's not Gabrielle. It's an area back behind it. We're going to cover that. But Gabrielle here, it's running into that dry air that I talked about yesterday. And that is really eating at this. It's really not a tropical storm. I know it's classified as one at this point, but it's just simply not. You could see it for yourself. It ran into that dry air. There's a little upper level spin right here. I know it may be hard to see, but right through here, this is some of the science that I kind of leave out sometimes. So this is the stuff I watch. Little upper level spin here. This provides wind shear uh, that would knock the thunderstorm tops off and the developing uh, rainstorms building up off. That's what wind shear does. It's winds in the opposite direction that can really knock apart a system. So this has two things going against it, which we like. That's why it's really not a tropical storm. But if it just kind of hangs together somewhat as it approaches Bermuda, conditions become more conducive for development down the road. So it may re-intensify. And that's what, uh, that's what we're going to watch out for very carefully for Bermuda. So, I mean, pick your spot. Where is the center of this? Uh, I guess technically it's somewhere in in here, this little blob has been fl uh, flaring up to the uh, south of it. So again, just a sloppy, really uh, tropical disturbance, if you will. Watching this here, not seeing any development, but we're going to see this tropical wave come off the coast of Africa over the next 24 hours. This one has the uh, potential of developing. And here's what I'm watching long-term. I mentioned the active period. This spot here, watching some of the rainstorms near uh, Cabo Verde, could see some flooding, northwestern islands. And then this here, as all of this moves across and works its way into the Caribbean, even if it doesn't develop in the short term, that is gonna swing a lot of moisture our way, even potentially back through the Bahamas and the Gulf and then something may eventually develop. That's why I mentioned some close to home development will be possible, which I'm gonna show you. But here are those big areas of rain, still watching near the Cayman Islands, Belize, Guatemala, <clears throat> excuse me, from uh, overnight. And then as we swing back toward Haiti, the DR, uh, back through uh, Puerto Rico, British and U.S. Virgin Islands, some areas of heavy rain. Kind of a close call. Rain chance stays high here, even in the northeastern Caribbean, but some of us still dry. It's almost like you can see some of the rain in the distance, uh, but some of us don't have it. But where we have it, it is a big concern. It is really heavy in spots. Now, getting back to uh, Gabrielle, technically, the winds are being held at, I don't control this agency, not part of it, 50 miles per hour. It's definitely not and we could see that in the satellite. We have data that's showing that. Uh, so again, very weak. But if it were to kind of just somewhat hang together, this tropical disturbance, it can re-intensify as it gets closer to Bermuda. So again, Bermuda, we're watching this carefully, right? I've got you covered. We're going to monitor this, uh, watching all spots, a track system start to finish, not leaving anyone behind. But this area is going to lift to Bermuda. And most of the models, almost all of them at this point, 
have it re-intensifying. I mentioned short term, there's a lot of problems with it. It may completely fall apart, but if it can hang together somewhat, almost all of the models have this, there's more than just those, have this developing back into a hurricane. And that's why I mentioned Bermuda, I got you covered. If we need to go into monitor mode and then action mode, I will let you know right here. Now, fortunately, that area is staying away because look at what we have going on in the Caribbean, Bahamas, back through the Gulf, southeastern U.S., very, very warm waters. That's one of the reasons we had that system spin up near the Carolinas and Virginia. That one should have been classified. That was a kind of a classic looking tropical depression or tropical storm that moved in a few uh, days ago. Uh, but you could see the really warm water. So as I mentioned, those tropical waves uh, that are marching across as they bring that moisture to us in the Caribbean, uh, back into the Gulf, uh, the conditions become more conducive for development. And that's what we really need to watch out for through the end of the month. Now watching this, Here's a Bermuda, <clears throat> excuse me, right here. Most of the early indications are that this area would stay just to the uh, east of Bermuda. This is Gabrielle, but I'm not sure yet just because it's so sloppy. It's really even hard to figure out where the heck the center of this is. So we're going to wait and see, but Bermuda, I've got you covered. But if anything hangs together, it could get stronger. And you see the models that are actually showing more weakening. This is a day out and two days out. Over the next couple days, some of the models just have this area fall apart. But then if anything kind of hangs together, you could see some of that re-strengthening back into a strong tropical storm, potentially a hurricane as we get down the road into next week. So here's a look at the European model and the variations of the European model. Here we are in the Caribbean, Southeast US right here, watching uh, Bermuda right here. We have these fronts from the Atlantic region of Canada down through the Bahamas, high pressures off to the east. That's why Gabrielle <clears throat> has a window to kind of work around that area of high pressure and lift to the north. Now, watching what happens with Bermuda and then the tropical waves back behind it, let's go out in time here. I wanna stop the clock on Monday. Here's Bermuda right here and you see the uncertainty. Some models bring this area close, most just off to the east, but this is the spread we're dealing with with some uncertainty. I'll have a really good handle on this by tomorrow. I wanna to see what's left of Gabrielle in the short term. And here's that other tropical wave that will be coming off the coast of Africa that I mentioned. And then the European model just starts to hint at some areas to a monitor as we get closer to home. And that's of big concern as we get uh, toward the end of September into October, because we know this area has been so untouched. One of the reasons the water temperatures are so very warm, always warm this time of year, but especially warm because nothing has rolled through this area. So then we could see what's left of Gabrielle swinging back toward the North Atlantic. This would be by the middle of next week. And then you could see we need to monitor this tropical wave here. And then the European model just kind of hints at, hey, there's a couple spots we just need to monitor close to home and they may flare up. It wouldn't take a lot that if we get a big blob of rain over very warm water that it starts to spin up. That makes sense. That's what we just saw back toward Virginia and North Carolina a couple days ago. Now, here's a look at the America model, but it's it's generally the same as the others. They're almost all showing the same thing. Here's that surge of moisture we've been highlighting for days and days. Here's some of the rain back through the British and US Virgin Islands. This is technically Gabrielle. There's the other tropical wave that is about to move off. Now, let me show you what's going to happen short term and long term. This is by the weekend. So as we work our way into the weekend, almost all the models have Gabrielle still kind of weak, but at this point, passing through that dry air. And then here's the front that kind of helps grab it and lift it up to the north. That's why it's missing out on the uh, Caribbean. And then watching what's coming on off the uh, coming off the coast of Africa. Now, hang with me here. This is by the time we work our way into next week. Here's Bermuda. It's going to be a close call with uh, not only how strong this is, but the overall track. There's going to be a lot of rain. Hopefully this front speeds up, kind of keeps the heaviest stuff to the uh, east of Bermuda. I'm going to show you more mapping on that in just a second. And then watching the Atlantic. But look what happens as we work our way into the middle of next week. Keep an eye on Bermuda. Again, re-strengthening with this area. Uh, this model at this point is showing the heaviest weather east of Bermuda. But we're going to monitor that. But then you can see here exactly what I was talking about. That more moisture starts to feed in again back into the Caribbean. Even if these waves don't develop in the short term, look what happens here as we work our way out in time deeper into next week. By the middle of next week, we start to get that buildup of rain. You can see it right in through here, right? And this is something we do need to watch. Uh, the American model and the European model 
are both latching onto something, uh, not necessarily forming, at least initially, but some big areas of rain anywhere from the Bahamas south through the northern Caribbean, and they do hint at some development. So giving you the early heads up, not that there's anything imminent, but this is what we are going to watch together right here on this channel. Yes, we're watching Gabrielle or whatever's left of it, and the possibility of impacts in Bermuda, more tropical waves back behind it, but we need to watch out for this sector in here, because if there is some rain building up conditions are conducive for some development hope that makes sense just something we're going to watch uh, together over the next several days into next week with that busy pattern watching the rain storms i've already highlighted this we have talked about this watching the flooding heavier storms possible haiti the dominican republic puerto rico uh, british and u.s virgin islands jamaica cayman islands scattered areas of rain and storms northern Bahamas, even clipping the uh, central Bahamas some showers. And look at that as we work our way into uh, tomorrow near the ABC Islands. We have a chance of getting some rain, Aruba, Curacao, and uh, Bonaire. And then as we work our way into Saturday, generally the same thing. But by Saturday, I'll know what's going on, of course, with uh, Gabrielle. And then we'll be watching really closely those other tropical waves. Not developing quite yet, but I want to see how much moisture they throw our way and the possibility of some development. Now, looking at other areas, Here's that blob of rain here. Here's uh, Gabrielle. Here's Bermuda, just to uh, kind of orient us. And you can see as we go throughout the day, watching a couple little uh, areas of rain. Nova Scotia may get clipped by a few of those. Prince Edward Island. Here are some storms. Missouri, Iowa, some bigger storms later on. Here's some of that rain I mentioned for Southern California, squeaking into parts of Nevada, Arizona, and watching over toward uh, New Mexico. There's the rain. Western Mexico got everyone covered. I mentioned that a few days ago, that flood would be a potential in through here. So there is uh, Gabrielle. Here's some of that extra rain even near, uh, not a lot, but uh, Newfoundland and the Avalon Peninsula this surge of moisture here. But this front is what's helping to draw Gabrielle up to the north. And there are more storms anywhere from uh, Winnipeg all the way back through uh, Memphis. You see some of the rain that will be around, just kind of spots of that. Then as we work our way into Saturday, British Columbia, new system working in, watching a few areas of rain here and there. And then on Saturday, watching this, here's Bermuda right here. Here's the front helping to draw this to the north. And this is when it could start to redevelop. So if it hangs together, some redevelopment possible. This here would be by Tuesday. You can see here's Bermuda right here. This model is still showing the heaviest just off to the east. It depends on the timing of this front, how that front kind of grabs that area. That's what we'll watch as we work our way into early next week. And then we're going to see that buildup of rain uh, for some of us in the Caribbean. Watch how these seas build now with this uh, tropical disturbance or Gabrielle, whatever you want to call it out here. Atlantic passageways do get choppier as expected as we work our way out in time into the week and early next week, of course, near Bermuda the swells are going to build east coast of the U.S. as well because we have this front here and then Gabrielle right here and that's why those Atlantic waters are going to get higher. Now as far as the rain goes, Freeport, New Providence, some heavy areas of rain, over four inches of rain the next few days. We're going to see more, more of that flooding. We've had that in spots, got you covered in the uh, Bahamas, scattered areas of rain, South Florida, back through Cuba, Cayman Islands, Jamaica. Again, really at any point we could get a quick thunderstorm that could give us 50 millimeters of rain or two inches of rain and then we could see some repeat areas of that over the next few days and that's why Haiti uh, over toward uh, the Dominican Republic we could get some spots 100 to about 125 millimeters of rain. That's on top of what we've already had. We've had the mudslides. We've had some of the dangerous rivers. We're going to see that. Puerto Rico, U.S. and British Virgin Islands, uh, and Agata back toward uh, Tortola, St. Croix, St. Thomas, St. John. You can see these areas of rain. You see this kind of uh, purplish pink shading. Two to three inches of rain or 50 to 75 millimeters of rain will be possible. In Anguilla South, St. Martin, St. Bart's, kind of hit or miss. Some of us, this is what I was talking about earlier, some of us stay dry. Others, we get a bit of rain, spotty showers possible, Dominica, Martinique, St. Lucia, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, Barbados, Grenada, uh, Trinidad and Tobago, still some areas of rain possible. Not as much Suriname, Guyana into uh, Venezuela, a little bit more. But here are some more heavy pockets, parts of Mexico, Guatemala, El Salvador, western Honduras, western and central, back through uh, south central sections of Belize, watching out for some heavier rain, parts of Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama. Same thing, over 100 millimeters of rain will be possible. Mentioned parts of Mexico, especially along the uh, Pacific side, running up near the uh, Baja, some heavier rain, western areas. And there's that moisture as so we get back towards southern California. Uh, 
uh, parts of uh, Arizona, New Mexico, where an inch or two of some rain will be a possibility. And then watching out for some of the stronger storms that are pulling back, as I mentioned, through Iowa and Missouri. So a 60 to 70% chance of rain and storms uh, for us in Jamaica. It's not all day stuff, but scattered areas of rain. I'll be watching your comments, put your location, uh, what you got going on with some uh, rain and storms. Cayman Islands, we're looking at a 60% chance uh, for today. A 40 to 50% chance Trinidad and Tobago. So scattered areas of rain possible. The next two days in Barbados, a 30% chance of some rain. 30% chance as well in St. Lucia. So kind of isolated, spotty uh, Grenada. Rain chance not too high. Doesn't mean we won't get any, uh, but uh, not super high. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, 30 to 40% chance. In isolated in Martinique, looking at a 30% chance. A little bit more as so we swing to the north, Dominica. We have a 40% chance of some passing showers the next two days, and a 40% chance the next three days in Guadeloupe. Antigua and Barbuda, rain chance a bit higher today, right? We're going to at least have some, even if we don't get rain, there's rain around a 30% chance for tomorrow. We're holding at a 60% chance for today. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat. Some of that may be tonight as well while we're sleeping. Same thing, Anguilla and St. Bart's. And then the rain chance drops off a little bit more. St. Martin, St. Ben Station, about a 50% chance today, down to a 30% chance tomorrow. But that high rain chance in Puerto Rico, monitoring the flooding that may impact some of the power grids. So watching out for widespread rain. Puerto Rico, back through the U.S. and British Virgin Islands, rain chance about 90% today. I'll be watching the comments if you do get uh, any rain. Bahamas favoring the northern, but even some showers in the central sections. But northern Bahamas, more of that active pattern. 40% chance today in the Turks and Caicos. There's that high chance sticking with us. It's still not all day stuff. The Dominican Republic and Haiti. We're looking at a 60% chance of rain. Some of it really heavy. Watching out for the mudslides, the rock slides, especially back through Haiti. Belize, our rain chance 60% uh, today and a 50% chance for tomorrow in Belize. If we get some rain, some of it will be heavy. And you can see the rain chance going up uh, tonight into tomorrow. Not super high, but we've got that chance. You see Aruba, Carousel, and Bonaire up to about a 40, maybe 50% chance of some rain. Guyana, 50% chance today. Mainly dry over the next couple of days in Suriname. Scattered areas of thunderstorms, some strong as we swing back through Cuba. 70% chance of rain the next couple of days. Costa Rica and Panama, 60 to 70% chance in Nicaragua, especially western sections, central and western sections of Honduras. The better chance of getting some of the rain. We've been watching out for the dangerous rivers, Guatemala and El Salvador. The, the uh, active pattern continues. 60% chance scattered about in Mexico City and a 50% chance right across the Yucatan Peninsula, anywhere from Cancun uh, back through uh, Merida. 50% chance of rain northern Colombia and running at about a 50 to 60% chance northern Venezuela, especially northeastern Venezuela. And in Bermuda, all eyes are on what's happening with Gabrielle out there, how close it will get and to see if it kind of regenerates, if it re strengthens. I'll be tracking that over the next uh, few days. So we kind of have that odd tropical storm out there. Very, very uh, weak at this time more tropical waves back behind it. Monitoring that for development, and as I mentioned, we're watching close to home for some uh, spinning up, or at least the possibility of a spin up maybe next week, the week after. It's going to stay active as we work our way right into uh, October. So thank you for your patience. I know these videos are a little long. I just don't want to leave anyone out. I hope you have a really good day ahead.